and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Community Guide. Today, we have a few cool things to go over. We obviously have the heavyweights, which probably isn't the cool thing, but it's still cool to talk about. We got two players, as per usual, for the heavyweights. It is Wednesday. Madden Limbo, boys. That's what I like to call Madden Wednesdays. It's Madden Limbo. It's a little bit of nothing. Not too much in the auction. Not too much going on at all. Typically, a decent day to play some seasons. Enjoy Xbox and enjoy your day. But on top of that, we do have some news that could be kind of intriguing if it hits properly. I'll go over all of that as we get into the video. You guys probably saw from the title already, which is about Sean Taylor. I will be going over all that as we get into this video. So stay tuned for all that. Now, guys, before we get into the video, as you guys already do know, it is the 25 Days of Poodmas. Now, this is my month-long giveaway for the month of December. I am currently, I have a winner picked for today's video. All you got to do is go down below. So, well, first off, before I give you guys the requirements for the winner, which is David Smith. He did enter on yesterday's video. He is, I believe, an Xbox user. And all you gotta do to actually contact me for the giveaway is go down below. There'll be my Twitter link in the description. Click on that, DM me directly, and I'll get to you as soon as possible. And I will buy your card. So just post a card for 33K and contact me on Twitter. We'll work on all the details, David Smith. But you did win. I don't wanna say your gamer tag because I feel like that's an invasion of privacy. But, anyways, for all you guys who will be joining the giveaways for today, all you gotta do to enter is subscribe to the channel, comment down below the secret word and your console, and like the video. Once you do those three things, you are entered to win on today's video. And as per usual, I do announce giveaway winners typically at the 10 30 video. So always come for those videos specifically to see. If you want or not. Now, to get into the news, guys, we have initially thought that Sean Taylor wouldn't be coming to Madden. People were saying that we didn't Madden didn't have his rights this year, that we weren't gonna get him, and typically we would have him already, so we we're kind of concerned that we would not be receiving him this year. Now, there was something that did come up over on Madden Twitter and over on Madden Mobile that kind of confirms that we might be getting him. Now let's head over to Madden Twitter real quick to show you guys what I'm talking about. As you guys can see the field of freeze, which is like the Madden Mobile freeze promo started, earn freeze points to get rewards, including 96 overall Grandmaster Sean Taylor. So Madden did announce Madden Mobile at least has Sean Taylor in the game. Now Madden Mobile is run by EA Sports and Madden so that does imply that if they have the rights on mobile they should have the rights on the actual video game which leads me to believe that they are saving Sean Taylor for something banger which could also be the zero choke promo now spend freeze points and sets for even more rewards yada 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 nothing here 30 plus new players that will be using all the field of freeze programs now Madden mobile has always been a good source to kind of uh, foreshadow what we might be seeing in actual Madden as we've seen with like where Madden mobile tells us the content releases it kind of typically lines up with the Madden actual Madden releases Sorry, I don't mean to call it actual Madden for all you Madden mobile fans. But 96 overall, safety, Sean Taylor. So here he's a regular safety. Now, we might be seeing him as an out-of-position linebacker, which is quite possible because Madden has done that in the past. I really hope we don't see him as a linebacker because that means he probably won't be power-upable, nor will we actually want him there. I mean, he's not bad as a linebacker, but I want to see real strong safety or free safety Sean Taylor. That is what I want to see in Madden. I prefer he's a free safety, but if he's strong, it is what it is. I prefer he's a free, though, so I could actually use him instead of, you know, I could use him and Pat Tillman together. But if he does drop, that would be pretty cool. If he is going to drop, he's going to be with the two of three things. Oh, let's say. Oh, let's say there's about three options. He could either be the Ghost of Past, which would be kind of okay. Like, I don't know why they'd save him for a Ghost of Past card. He could be the Zero Chill Master, or he could be LTD Ghost. Or, he, or, or actually, the fourth option, he could be one of the. They, we're going to get a present, right? That's like red and white, and it's like Ghost of Madden Past, and we get some present Sean Taylor. I could see that too. But typically, I'm surprised they didn't give us a base legend first, unless they were working for his rights and they finally got them, which don't know. That's possible too that we didn't get him yet because they were working for his rights. But I think that does cover pretty much the Sean Taylor aspect of this video. I hope you guys, hope this helps you guys out. I hope you guys are excited about Sean Taylor. If you're hyped for Sean Taylor, comment down below. Say what's up. Comment down below, Sean Taylor in all caps. Let me know. I'm, I hope you guys are all hyped because I'm pretty hyped about Sean Taylor. I hope he's coming to Madden. And if he is, that's probably how we'll see him. Now let's head over to the heavyweight cards and go over them. Okay, so the first heavyweight card we have is Ryan Ramsick. 91 over, I hope I didn't pronounce his name wrong. 91 overall right tackle for the New Orleans Saints. He is power upable. Now, guys, there's one issue with Ryan Ramsick that quite a lot of you guys might be mad about. Now, he does have a 93 overall kickoff card. Now, if you guys don't already know, kickoff cards cannot be powered up yet. So Madden might say, oh, we gave you guys a 91 so that you can um, you can play with him until your, your kickoff card's ready. Here's the thing. Kickoff cards are only power upable once they finish, once they're done and they max out their overall. Which means Ryan Ramsick will be available to be powered up probably in the near future. So here's the thing, right? So Ryan Ramsick's a 93 overall. So if you power up and chem up Ryan Ramsick, this one right here, you'll probably end up with about a 92, 93 Ryan Ramsick. So you're going to have the same overall as the kickoff one, right? So if you power up and chem up this heavyweight, it's going to look exactly like the 93 overall one. Now what's the issue? 
So pretty much he's gonna be a 92, 93, and you're gonna have to power him up even further and increase his power up chain. You're gonna have to throw in a 93. It's like if I just like I don't know if I took my hand and I was like, I bought this hand for a hundred dollars and I was like, okay, I want to power him up. I put two hands in, so it's literally the same exact hand, but you have to, you have to buy more coins. And that kickoff Brian Ramsey pushed like 300k. So you can spend 300k to get your exact card that you probably already have. You guys understand what I'm saying here? So that's kind of what that was dumb. They would have been better off maybe waiting and letting us power kick off Ryan Ramsey first and then giving us like a 94, 95 Ramsey in the future. But now they just clogged it up. Now we have like two of the same Ryan Ramsey's powered up, except the only way we can increase this chain is by buying them. So essentially, we're going to just, we're going to power them up for 300k and our stats aren't going to change. Kind of dumb, but. And it's Madden for you. Now let's go over stats. He's six foot six, 88 strength, 92 awareness, 90 pass block, 90 pass block power, 88 run of uh, pass block finesse. Sorry, 89 run block, 89, 88 run block power, and 89 run block finesse. So powered up and chemmed up, he will have all of 90s, and he'll have above 90 strength, more than likely above 90 awareness, above 90 pass block, above 90 run block. Gonna be one of the best right tackles in the game, which is a very scarce market. We have Dan Dudor, Ryan Ramsey, Lane Johnson. Those are kind of the three that if, you, if you're getting a good right tackle, you're probably picking up one of those. Gonna be solid all around gonna be a great right tackle i mean i personally like lane johnson that's who i have at the moment but powered up lane johnson might be a little bit better but again if you power him up all the way and come up you're gonna get pretty close and it'll probably be a fraction of the price considering he's a heavyweight card and heavyweight heavyweight cards typically go for a lot cheaper than the average like prom promo like promo card you guys got what i'm saying so Ron Ramsey should look pretty decent i'm checking the auction block right now to see if the new one up which is chris jones chris jones is the brand new drop heavyweights have to start increasing in overall too by the way like flash they gotta start getting some 92s because the, the longer they stay at this, this you know, this overall range, the longer it's going to be hard to actually use these cards. Ryan Ramsey is up on the block. I believe Chris Jones is not up on the block yet. He's going for 455k. Now, let's head over to the Madden screen to go show you guys the Chris Jones card. The word for this video is ELF. Comment down below the word ELF. Subscribe to the channel. Comment your console and like the video. Once you do all those things, you are entered to win. Good luck. I lied. He's on Mudhead. He's not on Madden. He's not on Madden yet, although I'll do one more check before I confirm that no he's not so let's go to, let's do it over my head so chris jones 91 overall defensive tackle he's been at right end before so madden's madden's on both he's been at right end he's been defensive tackle they're kind of like pick and choose their positions here six foot six 308 pounds okay so he's 69 speed but now that he's a defensive tackle i can i can justify that i'm, I'm okay with saying that he could be 69 speed at defensive tackle with 83 excel so that's really not that bad if he's if he's okay if he is has an 83 excel with a bad speed He's pretty decent athleticism wise from a defensive tackle standpoint. 72 agility, I could care less about. 89 strength is solid. 70 jumping, doesn't matter. 89 awareness, 89 play rec, that's all solid. 82 block shed, kind of low. Now, 87 pursuit, solid. 85 tackle is decent. 80 hit power is decent. 90 power move is phenomenal in 82 finesse move. So, what what can you guys get from this card? Because I can tell you what I get from this card. He is a right end defensive tackle. It's just like how. It's just like how to, to give you guys an example, plenty of cards have always been like this in Madden Pass, where they give them stats of one position, but they play another. So Chris Jones has exactly what you'd expect at a, at a very huge 308 pounds, 6 foot 6 right end. Slow, decent athleticism, good play rec, good pursuit, bad block shed with good power moves. What does that say? He's a pass rusher first. He's decent at chasing down the quarterback, and he has good play recognition. That's a right end. Now, defensive tackle would be the vice versa. They have less excel, much better block shed, probably better hit power. It is entirely, a, it's easy, he's a power rusher at right end, not a power rusher, defensive tackle. Obviously, he can play other positions, as you can see, he can play right end. You can put the position swap on him. He does have high motor, yes, defensive line, swim move, yes, and he has bull rush, yes, and strips ball, yes. This card's more of a right end. Now, he can be powered up. So, if you power up this card all the way and you come him up with John Madden, you probably get his block shots like an 85, 86. You probably get his pursuit to a 90. His tackle is like an 86, 87. His hit power is like an 82, 83. His power could probably get up to like a 94. His speed could be like a 70, 71. And his acceleration could be pretty decent. I personally wouldn't choose this card. I probably like Michael Pierce a little bit better. I like guys with a little better block shot. Because at defensive tackle, I'm always looking for pass rush. See, if I have to pick one first, I'm probably going for run stuff first because the way people run up the gut this year. Now, if I'm going to go for pass rush, I wouldn't go strictly for pass rush. I would probably go someone like, let's say, Henderson or Dockett or one of the new defensive tackles like me, Joe Green, or I believe there's one more. Well, you get the point. Any of those guys who can pass rush and they can run stuff because they can do both. I'm either doing both or I'm running stuffing first because with the way the run game is, you want to stop that first because most of the time, if the, the guys in the middle, it's tough for them to pass rush, right? Because if they pass rush, they get double teamed. That's the thing with pass rushing with up the middle is that the defensive tackle gets off the center a little bit, the left guard will push to him. It'll slide to him. See, now at the, at the tackle spots with your ends, if they get one-on-one, -on -one, there's no one to pick them up. They're typically getting free. But that is about it. Let's go into the man screen to wrap up this video. All right, guys, so as you can see here, I am checking the prices. I'm seeing nothing so far. They probably, no, not nothing.
I did see before one of them, the Ryan Ramsey, but that's about it. That's about it for the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope the Sean Taylor news was exciting. It was pretty exciting for me. Something new, something interesting. Hopefully, it does come true. I'm looking for, I know we've been looking for a Sean Taylor. I see my comments every day of Sean Taylor coming. I see arguments about his rights, but it should be exciting. Now, guys, remember, just 25 days of food miss. All you gotta do to enter is you should have heard the secret word already at some point throughout this video, so make sure you comment that down below. Comment your console, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and like the video. Once you do all the things, you are entered to win. Good luck. Hopefully, the winner from this video that I said earlier does come to show up on Twitter. If he does not, I will reroll at some point. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.